Mr. Trouble never hangs around when he hears this mighty sound. Here I come to save the day. That means that Mighty Mouse is on the way. Yes, sir, when there is a wrong to right, Mighty Mouse will join the fight. On the sea or on the land, he gets the situation well in hand. So though we are in danger, we never despair Cause we know that where there's danger, he is there He is there, on the land, on the sea, in the air We're not worrying at all We're just listening for his call Here I come to save the day That means that Mighty Mouse is on the way Just listening for his call. Here I come to save the day. That means that Mighty Mouse is on the way. Eleven ish. Good morning, everyone. Whoa, I'm invisible. I think it's this top. Um, I'm leaving it on. It's fine. I wore it last night. I'm going to wear it through the show. Episode 40, 11-ish. It is 11.13 on the 4th. Wow. Of December. Um, today's going to be quite a quick update, I guess. I've not been up long. I've been up about 20, 25 minutes. I've been getting some really like weird sleep. I've been going to bed about 2 o'clock in the morning, 2, 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, and getting sort of six or seven hours. The last few nights, last three nights, I've had a really good sleep in terms of not backache or neck ache. Or I got cold in my neck like three days ago, which was a bit of a pain. Mainly because I've been trying to get enough funds together and time to be able to insulate all of that bottom area of my van because there is like, there is just spaces in there where like the wind gusts outside and I know it's coming through in various places. So I kind of want to rip out all that area and put insulation you get this kind of chrome insulation to to like like a double sided stuff and um you glue that in and it kind of reflects the heat back into the van so that's something that i'm going to be looking at in january for for certain because in january it's going to be a lot colder also going to probably get another oil heater and then all the windows kind of need these panels in as well i would have hoped by now that i would have got that laser sorted but not yet. I'm waiting for the. I'm waiting for an opportunity for a better job, for a temporary job, to get the Glow Forge. The Glow Forge is a uh, laser cutter engraver, which is probably about three thousand, three and a half thousand, compared to thirty thousand from the big industrial one. Which, you know, would be nice because it is a more powerful laser, faster laser. But to start off with, doing the small stuff and building that up, and not having overheads, not having. You know, not having um, to pay off a lease on that for like five years would be huge because it allows you to adapt. And you know that technology changes so quickly anyway. So something that you can use that lasts, you know, a year or two years and you can make your money back on it would be a good start. But also you can make so much with it, so much for the site here, so much for the windows, so much for like the little projects that I want to make for the Raspberry Pi Zero. And uh, yeah, it would just integrate in everything that I do really well. All right. So, updates. Um, so, I guess the first update is that I'm traveling early tomorrow. So, I won't be doing any more 11-ish until about the 15th of December. Um, not that um, that matters too much. It's just I use it as my 11 a.m. kind of catch up with everybody and to update my YouTube channel, really. Um, yeah, so tomorrow, 6 a.m. in the morning, I'm going to be traveling. I've got a bit of a drive tomorrow, then to park up the car, and then National Express, then in a hotel, and then we actually fly on Sunday. So I should be in New York City by um, Sunday night. Um, seeing my daughter today, Ella. I'm seeing her later on today. I saw her two days ago on Wednesday. But I'm going to really miss her. I always miss her when I go like away for like seven or ten days away. Then it's really hard. But I'm going to probably FaceTime her this time in the week. And uh, have a chat to her from New York so she can see the skyscrapers and all that sort of stuff. I think that'll be really interesting and cool for her. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I'm going there tomorrow. Um, been working on some video clips last night. I've been 
taking the logo, uh, Team Humble logo, and animating that in Keynote, and basically putting a green background. I think it's 00FF00 is the green screen back color. And then what I've been doing is putting our logo in the front, animating it, so I'd sort of have a build in which the animation comes in, and then it holds on the screen, and then I have another animation which sort of fades that out. And then I export those as QuickTime movies, and then I bring those QuickTime movies into iMovie and overlay those on the top of like whatever content I've got. But I'm also uploading them into a cloud space called Dropmark. And on Dropmark, what, what that basically means is I can pull those files down at any point to any laptop or anywhere and just make videos wherever I am with the content that I've shot. I haven't got my GoPro anymore. I haven't got my DSLR anymore. So I've only got my little um, Ixis camera. Uh, I would love a brand new camera. I've, I've been looking at the five, uh, the G5X, the Canon G5X looks like a brilliant camera, but I've just not been, I'm not been using the, that equipment enough to warrant having it. So I kind of got rid of the things because I needed some money to actually go to New York and pay some various things. But uh, I kind of feel that this is less about media collection and more about just taking that week vacation out. To, to go and hang out with sort of the physical versions of these new friends that I've made over the last couple of months and also go and help out at these soup kitchens. That's the biggest thing about this trip is to go over there and actually put myself at the side, you know, like put myself on the periphery of that looking in because I kind of know that it's a daily struggle every single day for a lot of people and I know that they're serving something like 25,000 meals a week it's probably more than that actually that's just one soup kitchen so i'd be kind of interested how many people are actually being served per week as a rough estimate i'm going to find out some of that information i also know that there's a lot of um a lot of blog reports that i've been reading recently i think it was one in five uh, new york residents has some kind of mental health issue and that's quite a big number and uh, i'd like to know where that kind of stems from is it is it just city life it's the stress and strains of you know, being in the, the, the rich camp versus the poor camp, because I know it's a very split city. I'm sure that's just the same across the world. Um, and I've always found when I've been on my own in New York, which is obviously a long time ago when I was in my sort of 20s, it's actually quite a lonely place when you don't know anybody in the city and you're just traveling through as a tourist. It's kind of an overwhelming sort of skyscraper kind of place. And I would like to go and find some of the public Wi-Fi hotspot places in the in the city. And see if I can see if we can do some sort of speed test of these public open Wi-Fi networks. See if they work. See if they're reliable, and uh, just co just collate a different number of places across the city that have public Wi-Fi and how you use them. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, I do apologise by the way for the green top. I should have realised that this morning with the like like I'm literally invisible with this on. Um, but I, I literally got up and had coffee and that was it. Hello from Italy. Just had somebody on the chat just drop in. Hi there. How are you doing? Um, so yeah, let's have a look. What else? So logistics of moving the kit around. So another thing I've got to do today before I fly away tomorrow is I've got to take my iMac and various other tech kit that I've got here because I don't like leaving it in the caravan for the week. So I'm going to take that up to my mum's tonight. Also take my daughter over there so we can have dinner for a couple of hours, which will be nice before I fly away. And then come back and uh, I guess maybe get on Blab for a little while. I won't have my fully fledged uh, machine, but I'll have my laptop. And I'm still debating if to take my laptop or not. I don't know if, it, if you're the same, but when you travel, I like to travel really light. And I kind of want to have the I kind of want to have the computer with me to do editing of various things like website stuff. But kind of don't want to spend too much time on the computer. I've got the computer all the rest of the time. I actually want to go and enjoy interaction and social and food and you know experience like street level life you know rather than just being on a computer so i'm being asked in the chat channel where are you currently located i'm currently in england in the midlands um i'm in the furthest most point of the uk as in smack bang in the middle of the map if you look at england as a country if you find london which is sort of down at the bottom right if you go up say uh, diagonally to the left that's smack bang in the middle of the country that's where i am in the midlands a, a little place called Burton upon Trent which is where bass uh, bass beer is uh, brewed originally comes from if you ever heard of bass the beer bass that's where it comes from uh, because the the water around here the rivers around here are sort of mineral rich so uh, I know where it is so go quite often to Southampton okay cool right um what else we're going to put out today so also we started having a chat yesterday about try the world 
we are going to uh, get together on the 11th of December at the Try the World pop-up. It's tritheworld.com if you want to go and have a look at it. It's a subscription-based box where it uh, brings in foods from around the world. So you've got Spanish box, Italian box, Christmas box. And uh, they come every two months. And people pay a subscription and this box turns up and it's got like eight, ten items in it from uh, a variety of different suppliers from that particular country. And so we're we're meeting up with them. We're going to their pop-up pop-up uh, party, and uh, also going to go and hang out and have a chat with them. Um, we'd like to do some brand advocacy work with them in 2016. We've got some kind of cool ideas in terms of content, but I don't know how flexible they are if they're willing to sort of partner up with us. So it's something that I'm still kind of digging through in my head. I I did a kind of like brainstorming session yesterday with Dale, and we came up with some good ideas. And we just need to we just need to really like hone that now a little bit. So I'm kind of thinking, well, maybe I should take my laptop because I could work on that. But I don't want to spend too much time working while I'm away. Uh, also, today, I'll be spending a bunch of time on uh, Udemy courses. I do Udemy, Udemy courses online. I've got two free Udemy courses up. If you go to smarturl.it, I'll put them in the chat, actually. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, smart URL. Ooh, hang on a second. Uh, looks like I accidentally quit my blab. Wow. Uh, <laughs> wow, that's all go today. Like, I'm not quite sure what to do about that. It's just disappeared. Uh, yeah, so I'll carry on going with this one, but I accidentally closed my blab down online. It's going to be one of those days. It's going to be one of those days. Let's get all this stuff out before I can. I accidentally just like back clicked there and uh, lost the whole thing. Not quite sure what happened there, so I'm apologise for people who were watching on the blab on online. It just like cut off dead. Um, yeah. So what I was going to say, I was on the last thing. I was talking about the descriptions of Udemy courses. I have two Udemy courses. You can find all my Udemy courses at Smart URL, Smart URL .it forward slash my Udemy. And uh, I've got two free courses up there about MyFi's and and Wirecast and Blab. I've also got one up there uh, for advocates, how to be a brand advocate. And I've got it up there quite cheap at the moment. So if you're interested in buying that, that will help out my Christmas and Ella's Christmas. And you'll get 67 lectures, five hours of content, how to be a brand advocate. I did that for about four years of my life. If you want to cheer me up and buy me a Christmas present, buy that. That will absolutely cheer me up and write a review for it. Um, that's about it, really. There's not much else to tell you about. There's, there's various things happening behind the scenes, as there always is. Uh, I'm trying to get some fixer stuff done today, some keynote animation stuff. I've got to pack up all my bits of computer and things, but um, that's kind of it. I'm looking forward to going. I'm, I'm starting to get excited now. Only, only starting to get excited. I was a little bit worried about logistics, but I think it's all coming together now. I've got no choice anyway. Tomorrow is like getting up, getting in the car, driving over there, and uh, part, as soon as I park the car up, as soon as I've got my backpack on, as soon as I'm on the, the, the bus that takes us to Birmingham Airport, I'll be absolutely fine. Things will just be cool. So I will see you. Do follow along on teamhumble.org, the website. Um, do follow my Twitter account, at Phil Campbell on Twitter. Follow along also the hashtag, hashtag Team Humble, and hashtag 4 Musky, the number 4 Musky. They'll be using either one of those. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Vine, all of those different areas, that's where I'll be posting. And uh, I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.